Hello everyone, this is my 1983 Mazda B2000 and I know she's an absolute gem but today we're not here to talk about this uh, we're here to talk about how disrespectful uh, Whistling Diesel is towards these kind of trucks now guys, this has been bugging me for the last few days um, but I can't, I feel like I find it very disrespectful and my whole family does. Why is that like that? Uh, probably scraped across the bush. Um, that whistling diesel has smashed up a mint, absolutely mint, 1989 Toyota Hilux. My whole family, even my dad and my mum, they don't even watch him. But they find it really disrespectful, especially to an old truck like this. And why has it got dents on there? It wasn't like this before. But it had these scratches on. But uh, yeah, she's absolute mint. But I just find it disrespectful. It's not natural. It's a, it's a very strange thing to do. And you don't do stuff like this. So but this will be my farm truck from when I'm older. And this is when, this is literally though, guys. This is mine and this is literally my parents said, you know, this is just mine. But uh, these trucks are very rare to find. And I must say, so Whistling Diesel, he's just not natural enough. And he does the unrealistic stuff. But, I mean, look how mint that is. Like, I know it's got a few stuff in there. Uh, you can see the filler um, in there. But we're not here to talk about this. As I said, and that's actually the same material that Toyota used, but anyway, um, um, and even Free Diesel, his cameraman, he did, he just stopped working for it. Cody, if you literally keep smashing up trucks like this, literally, sometimes I feel angry. I feel like sometimes I can just fly to America and just steal one of your trucks, but realistically i obviously can't do that but so i want to kind of trash talk you and even if you uh even if you uh like um show this video in your video i really don't care i all care about getting views that's my whole thing but i want to s and also you've got to stop smashing up vehicles you can't you can't ju i know i'm a 12 year 13 year old boy but and I know right from wrong, and you cannot smash stuff up like that. Like, I love my vintage stuff. I, I, I take care of this. Yes, they're dense, but they're from wear and tear. That's not natural. That's from being scraped across the bush. You cannot, you can literally not do that. Like, you cannot do that to people. Like, if you want to pee them off, I'm not going to actually say the word because probably children are watching. But I would say the words. <laughs> These scratches, they've been on here years. I mean, it was, he used to do potato harvesting. But you can't do stuff like that. You literally, you just, you just can't. It's just disrespectful. It's just, the whole thing about it is your cameraman literally hates you. Like, he stopped working for you and everything. Like, this, like... It makes me so angry. It just, it does. Yes, you wanted to do what Top Gear did. I understand that. But why couldn't you get an import? Why couldn't you buy one from the United Kingdom here? Then buy one from Japan, absolutely mint. Yes, Clarkson's was bashed up. And you just can't do that. It's just, mate, you're disrespectful. And I would say a load of stuff about you. But, you know, you, got to, you just generally can't do that. You just generally, just generally can't. I mean, there's a few bits of rust on here, I know. But it's the UK. And these trucks are hard to find in the United Kingdom. Like, people, literally, people have been knocking on my door for this. And, and no, I'm not selling this. Because this thing means the world to me. I would not smash it up with a hammer. I'd be fixing this thing up. 
like literally it's it means the world to me that my parents have actually bought me this and yes it's rusty and everything but that surface rust we're gonna get this all cleaned up so when i get my farm it'd be immaculate like i'll be chucking hay bales in the back of this thing yes i know there's scrap and stuff in the back of it but you gotta get a skip to throw this away but you just cody you just can't go round smashing really mint vehicles up yes you smashed the f350 up it, it proper paid people off yeah i know but you could always buy another one of those. Yeah, I know where the show is to high look. Yeah, I bet you can. But m one mint like that, that was an auto trader and that was absolutely mint. And you paid a big price for that. You paid like, I didn't, I didn't know, but I bet, he paid, I bet you paid a big price for it. If you're watching this video, I literally don't care what you say about me or anything. But you just, you just can't do that, literally. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm being fair. I could go even harder, but you just can't do that. Like, yeah, I know, I know, I don't upload videos like this, but you just literally, you just can't. You just can't do that. Yeah, it's mint for a B two thousand. Yeah, in this country, but it just rusts a lot under here. And this is one of the up there. That's one of the worst places for us. That's, that's just old muck from the United Kingdom. You guys in America, you guys like Cody and stuff, your, your vehicles are mint because it's just, it's just sand. It just comes off. In the United Kingdom, it just gets caked on like that. That's the only problem. But, Cody, I'm just trying, I want to say to you, yeah, like I've been trying, I want to get Instagram, but I can't get Instagram. I just want to publish a video. Just to say, you cannot go around doing stuff like that. Would would people like it if I started opening this door and start whacking it? No, people would be peed off at me. That, that's why. Would people like it if I started kicking it? Yes, I'm not actually going to kick my truck. Yeah, would people like, like it if I start pushing it over like this? No. So, that's why. Would people like it if I bend my bonnet? No, because why would you do that? Would people like it if I snap this? Would people would like it if I or, or bend that in there or or the sun visors. No, why would I pull all my switches off? Look how clean that is in there. Yeah, I know it's got a few bolts in there, but we just store stuff in there and and it can be easily taken out. And you just can't do stuff like that. We actually sprayed this, it looks nice. I like it like that. But you just can't, Cody, you just can't. Yeah, I know you're an adult, and I'm 13, but this thing has had wear and tear. It's just surface rust. If you sanded it down, it'd be mint. But what I'm saying is, I know, I know, I bet you're thinking it's an old banger. Yeah, it isn't, a, it, it probably is to you. But for me, it isn't an old banger. Even though it's it's got holes in the floor, which can be welded up easily. We're going to take the cab and the bed off. I would show you better photos, but I don't want to show you, like, my full place. So I'll probably have to drive it to a separate place. Even though I'm 13, I would probably drive it near the bushes. Just so not many people see it. But what I'm trying to say is... Would people like it if I start accusing this? Like, I'm generous with the stuff, what I get. Yeah, I used to break toy cars when I was 10 years old. But I was 10 years old then. And I'm 13 now. And I take care of my stuff. Look, I know it's... I bet you're thinking it's a bit rusty. Yeah, I know it's rusty. But that could just be sandblasted off. If Cody, if you know what sandblasting is... If you don't know what sandblasting is, you're just, you're just a stupid person because, like, literally, you, you buy, you, I know, that squatty truck, yes, it's meant to be like that, it's meant to sound crap, it's meant to, sorry, it's meant to just be terrible because, because, Cody, it's, it's for fun and you spoil the fun, literally, your cameraman doesn't like you anymore. 
So that's your loss. No, it there is. It actually uh, didn't come with uh, a uh, tailgate opener. But guys, that's it. I'm just trying to like solve the problem. Cody, you need to stop smashing up all your stuff you get because my dad says that's one less out of the world. And in this country, in this country, you cannot find Toyota Hiluxes. That's what I'm trying to say. Literally, Toyota Hiluxes. If you ask the traveller what the most popular car is, it's a Toyota Hilux or one of these. Literally, travellers keep knocking on my door for these. And you just... People, I'm not, not saying that like, travellers are bad people. They're not. They're good people. But... That's the thing. You just cannot start smashing up stuff. And it makes me that angry that I could literally start swearing my head off. And I don't normally swear. But you just can't do that. Like, literally. So, you know, but literally, Cody, you've got to stop smashing up your vehicles. Would you like it for start going... Would you like it for... And that's the thing. You... No, I don't do that to my chocks. Because why would I do that? It's an absolutely mint. Yeah, I know this needs sorting out. This was always like this since we bought this. But that can be replaced. So have you seen the Toyota Hilux parts? I bet they're expensive. And Cody just starts smashing one up. It, it really pees me off how he he has to do this. Yeah, he's got dents in that. But that's probably been in there uh, 25 years. Yes. I know, I know that it has holes, it, it has holes there. And there, and there. But it's Japanese. And Japanese cars rust. That's the whole point. Cody, you're literally, I know you're trying to do Top Gear's thing. But just go to the UK, buy your toys high looks from the UK. Literally, like, I literally, like, I can't stand you anymore. I used to really like watching you. You used to cheer my days up if I had bad days with your Reaper wheels on your ATV and stuff. But you just can't do Since you bought this high looks, I feel, I've been feeling sad because it's sad. And that's that's older than you Cody you're, you're I know you're 21 now yeah I know I understand that but Cody you can't do that it's I'm 13 and I like retro stuff but you just that's my that's one of my favorite cars what if, what if someone felt offended I I feel offended but I'm trying to say, just trying to say, I want to get the message out there. I hate Whistling Diesel. He's an idiot. And my family, my literally, I told my mum, and she said, good, that you hate him. You ever, and she said, yes, my mum even said this. She literally said, uh, yes, my dad, sorry, my dad says it. Um, he says he's been he's smashing up a, a generally generally a good truck and with all the original Toyota decals on you just can't do that Cody you just can't yeah I know you're a millionaire and you don't give a crap but I know I know I understand that because you don't care you've got you've got an Audi R8 a monster truck Cody would you like it if I went to America and got and got a sledgehammer and start smashing up your truck. Probably not, but you, you would just pay for it again, and then you wouldn't you wouldn't you you just can't drive it. So that's the thing. That's it's same thing. Would he like it if I start kicking his truck, getting a sledgehammer and and stuff? No, he wouldn't. And that's the thing. It just makes me really angry that you have to do this. I wanna get the message out there. Cody, you, you just disrespectful. You just, you're disrespectful. I mean, 
And yeah, I know the metal's bent there, if you can you see. The metal's a bit bent. I know, but that's it's a farm truck. Not mint from Japan. Yes, this car was this truck was built in Japan. Yeah, I know. You said I I originally said that Ford Rangers were the worst, worst vehicle ever made. What if somebody had Rangers? I know you I know you said I'm sorry if it come across rude. Yeah, I know, but you don't care, that's the thing. So like say if somebody got offended, what would you what would you, literally I know like about the helmet thing. You need to say sorry to all the Toyota enthusiasts. Yeah, I know. I know it's a, a car, and I know you've been smashing it up. But trust me, Cody, when you've done with that Toyota, mate, you're going to, literally, I would love to fly to America and sort you out. But, but literally, I know this is like this, but that is supposed to be like this. But, Cody, yes, I'm probably, when I'm older, I'd like to buy a couple of old smashed up cars and smashed and do the stuff you do yeah i know but i probably i will do them to rusters and bangers you do them to the minters that's what i'm trying to say people have you if you ever if you haven't watched a youtuber called master me though i would recommend watching him he's a he's a netherlands youtuber and he literally he just gets old cars and starts playing around with them same thing as listening diesel but better literally but he he wouldn't smash his cars up that's the thing and you just can't do that so yeah so guys enough of me was pulling on i hope you like this truck it'll be in a few videos you just can't do stuff like that cody and a simple is disrespectful the truck's 30 years old so I'm just going to make this 17 minute video, I hope you enjoy and bye.